the sanctified life viewing with the eye of faith. By faith, look upon the crowns laid up for those who shall overcome, listen to the exultant song of the redeemed, worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain and has redeemed us to God. Endeavor to regard these sins as real. Stephen, the first Christian martyr, in his terrible conflict with principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places, exclaimed, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Acts chapter 7, verse 56. The Savior of the world was revealed to him as looking down from heaven upon him with the deepest interest and the glorious light of Christ's countenance shone upon Stephen with such brightness that even his enemies saw his face shine like the face of an angel. If we would permit our minds to dwell more upon Christ and the heavenly world, we should find a powerful stimulus and support in fighting the battles of the Lord. Pride and love of the world will lose their power as we contemplate the glories of that better land so soon to be our home. Beside the loveliness of Christ, all earthly attractions will seem of little worth. Let none imagine that without earnest effort on their part, they can obtain the assurance of God's love. When the mind has been long permitted to dwell only on earthly things, it is a difficult matter to change the habits of thoughts. That which the eye sees and the ear hears too often attracts the attention and absorbs the interest. But if we would enter the city of God and look upon Jesus and his glory, we must become accustomed to beholding him with the eye of faith here. The words and the character of Christ should be often the subject of our thoughts and of our conversation, and each day sometime should be especially devoted to prayerful meditation upon these sacred themes. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 11 the Christian's privilege.